This is probably one of the most famous structures in the world. And the interesting part is that it was famous throughout history. The Colosseum, or in Italian, Colosseo. Not only is the Colosseum a historical building, but it's the symbol of the Roman Empire. When you look at the Colosseum, it looks like one type of building we all know and love, a stadium. But it's not like the modern stadium where they play games and have fun. The game that they would play back in the day was killing one another. And that was all for the higher class so they can have some fun while all this murder is happening. But the Colosseum was built 2,000 years ago, at a time where human life wasn't that important, at least not the humans that would go in the middle of the ring. The only people that would fight in here were the slaves or the gladiators. But either way, whoever went in the middle, the chance of death was quite high. When we are out there, you are not my friend. You are not my brother. You are my enemy. But this video is not about the Colosseum itself. It's the way it looks. I mean, just look at it. Why is half of it missing like a piece of cake? There are plenty of these ancient Roman stadiums all around Europe. Like for example, there's a famous one in Croatia. But the Colosseum is much more special because it was in the capital of the Roman Empire. So it was much more iconic and it still is the most iconic one. When historians inspect the Colosseum itself, they realize that throughout history, it was rebuilt a few times. The last time it was completely redone was in the 3rd century. You have to know that Italy is very prone to earthquakes. And of course, the city of Rome is right in the middle, so it's gonna receive all that shock. Every time that there was an earthquake in Rome, a piece of the Colosseum would fall off and they would have to rebuild that section. In the third century, when they completely redone the Colosseum, this was a time where the entire Roman Empire was falling apart, and it wasn't that wealthy, powerful empire anymore. After rebuilding the Colosseum, the Roman Empire was falling apart slowly, while the Colosseum itself started to fall apart as well. And that was all because of mismanagement and the lack of funding, because keeping something like this alive cost a lot of money. The Roman Empire was lacking so much funding that the shows stopped right then and there as well. The main problem was paying gladiators and finding exotic animals from Africa and Asia. And that cost a lot of money because not just anybody could capture these animals and bring it to Rome. And after the third century, not only is the Roman Empire getting more poor, but they're getting more religious. When Christianity enters the city of Rome, one of the main things that gets done is the Colosseum doesn't have any more shows anymore because it is a sin to kill for entertainment. So that means the Colosseum was useless for the Christians. When the church is getting powerful and this rule is set in stone, this is the 5th century, meaning around the year 400. And after this date, there has never been a show inside the Colosseum. A few centuries later, you enter the Dark Ages. And the people of Rome have been held back for so many years that they don't even know what the Colosseum is meant for and why such thing was built back in the day. Some say the Roman Empire did not fall apart, but it turned into a church. During the early Dark Ages, around the year 800, the people of Rome believed that this was a type of church for ancient Roman gods where they worshipped statues. 
Some would even take it to the next level and they would say the Colosseum is the place where you worship Satan and this is somewhat a facility for the Antichrist. The same people would believe that they should destroy the Colosseum itself. But since the actual church did not want this to take place, they were extremely worried if the people thought that this is Satan's house, which is why they came up with different ideas to make people step away from the idea that this is the house of Satan. The church that made people believe something else was trying to make them not believe that this is the house of Satan because they really did not want the Colosseum to be destroyed. So they started spreading information that this is an ancient building used for entertainment. What do you mean it's meant for Satan worshipping? So this is how they diffuse the situation. While all this is happening, there's earthquakes left and right and parts of the Colosseum would fall apart. Historians believe until the year 1000, pretty much half of the Colosseum had fallen apart. But when you look at it, you realize that these earthquakes made half of the building fall off. And now you see it, it's the north side of the building that has most of the damage taken. Geologists have recently realized that the north side of the Colosseum has softer dirt than the south side. The better side has a much better foundation where the structure was held up. But in the places where the foundation was soft and it was soft dirt, the structure started to fall apart after each earthquake. Hence why literally half of the building is missing. But neither was earthquakes or the church the enemy of this building. It was actually the people of Rome. Since the people of Rome didn't truly understand the meaning of this building and its true history, they didn't care for it. So anytime they wanted building materials, they would just go to the Colosseum and take any type of material like bricks and stones just to build a little shack in their own house. It's interesting to know that every single wall of the Colosseum used to be lined with travertine and all the floors had marbles in it. One of the first things that the people of Rome took were these two types of stones because they're very high quality. Throughout a history, you could consider the Colosseum as a type of slum because anyone that couldn't afford housing or was homeless, they would literally go into the Colosseum and find a little corner and stay in there. And it was so unsafe in there that normal people wouldn't go inside. Even with all this trials and tribulation that the Colosseum went through, but it's still standing. Why is that? Do you see the spot? This is the Vatican, which is only a few miles away from the Colosseum. The main roadway that the Pope would go throughout history, it would always pass the north side of the Colosseum, which is why for the Pope alone, they would make the building stay pretty and fix it up just so the background of their parade and their roadway doesn't have an old ruined building. If the building wasn't in the way of the Pope, the Colosseum would probably been destroyed. But since one side of it was on the roadway where the Pope would see it, they would rebuild it just for it to look pretty. Which is why 2000 years later, we see the Colosseum that's somewhat complete. But there is another important reason we're missing. When you look at historical places like the Persian Empire, there is a lot of cities that were destroyed because it was very easy for the enemy to access them, steal everything, and destroy every historical artifact. Which is why you don't have a building that's standing this strong and tall in the Persian Empire or other places where enemies attacked constantly. But the city of Rome was in a place that was so safe that no enemy would have access to it. Only one person was able to attack and take over Rome. And you probably know it's Hannibal from the Carthage Empire. If you don't know what Carthage is, it's basically modern day Tunisia, which was a massive empire north of Africa. Carthage and the Romans had a lot of beef, which is why Hannibal, when he gained power, he crossed the Mediterranean and took over the city of Rome being the only person in history to do so. But you have to know that Hannibal took over the city of Rome in the year 2018 BC, where the Roman Empire wasn't even that big and it was not even as big as Italy. And these types of buildings like the Colosseum weren't even built yet. But he's still the only person that conquered Rome.